Hello and welcome to A Little Piece of Promised Land. Today we're in the kitchen to have a little chat about the misunderstood dish called gefilte fish. I know gefilte fish gets a bad rap. First of all, it's hard to say. It's Yiddish for stuffed fish. Second, when you see it in the store, it comes in this gelatinous creation that looks like it belongs in a biology lab and not in your kitchen. And third, if the first two reasons weren't enough to have you running for the hills, looking at the nutrition label on the side of the jar would. This thing has enough sodium in it to give you a heart attack twice over. So the days of boring, tasteless, gelatinous gefilte fish are over, and now we're gonna have a delicious and savory dish for you. First, you need a big pot. Then you need two pounds of fish. Traditionally, we use carp, white fish, and pike, but you can substitute mullet fish if white fish is not available. Two onions, four eggs, a dash of salt, a little bit of pepper, matzo meal, carrots, and water, and a parsnip. Now, to make this recipe your own, you can add your own combination of root vegetables. Some people add celery, some people add garlic. It depends on what you like, so feel free to experiment. I'm going to grate the onions. So the first step is to fillet the fish. You're going to want to save the head and the skin and basically the not part that got ground up. The bones, head, skin will be saved for later on to help make your broth. Put fish and onion through the meat food grinder using a fine blade. That's already been done. So we're going to start from there. We add the eggs. Now we use a wooden spoon and mix it all together. It has to be a wooden spoon. That's what the book says. Bobby agrees. All together. Add four teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, one fourth cup matzo meal, three teaspoons of sugar, one third cup of water to soften the mixture. So I'm going to start mixing this. Yeah. And then I'll add the water. Yes. It's time to make the broth. So we're taking the leftover fish heads, the bones, and the roe, which is interesting. Those are the fish yeah, eggs. Yeah, but the roe you don't put in right at the beginning. Right. The roe tops off the entire thing. So we're going to put the fish bones and the fish heads into cheesecloth, and then we're going to fill it up with our vegetables, our soup vegetables, our broth, and then we'll put the roe on top. It's like a seasoning on top. So for the stock, two onions, okay. two carrots, which I added another one because one of them was a little dinky, celery. one parsnip, and celery. We leave the eyes in. That won't come out. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, that won't come out. All right, so then I put yeah, that in. That's good. Okay. Now we're going to add the Sort of like a meatball. 
and then find an open space to pop it in. And don't burn your hands. I'm not going to burn my hands. You have to be careful. Very careful. You don't want any burned hands. You hear? I won't burn my hands. Be careful. Now that your fish balls have been formed and are in the pot, you want to turn it to high for 30 minutes. Once it's at a hard boil, you can turn it to low to let simmer for two hours. You'll add the row right on top and then let it finish for another hour of simmering before being ready to serve. So whether you do gefilte fish in a ball in a loaf, sweet, savory, or multicolored. I hope you just give it a try. If you liked this video, please let us know by pressing the like button and subscribing.